Yo, what is going on, Rover Sports? My last video of the night. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this. I really appreciate it. I think that this is going to be my location from now on. When I go downstairs with the backdrop, it's pretty nice. Uh, the sound is good downstairs, but this, uh, this setup's just easier to pop on videos. It's easier to upload videos here, and I like this chair a lot, so... Um, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and get to my last video of the night or my last team of the night. And this is a team that I actually love. So a lot of people, you know, a lot of people say like basically that, uh, you know, I did the Chargers one, but now I'm going to do a team that I think could be the next great dark horse of the NFL. This is my sleeper pick to make some serious, serious noise in the NFL. And that is the Tennessee Titans out of Nashville, Tennessee that play at LP Field. I love the signing from the Rams, getting Matt LaFleur, a Michigan guy that, that was crucial to the development of Todd Gurley, crucial to the development of Sean McVay, and they're going to now get this up-tempo, modernized offense for Marcus Mariota that was playing in really the, the stone ages of offense under um, Mike Malarkey. I mean, Mike Malarkey made Mariota look like a quarterback that was basically playing in freaking caveman era football of handing it off to Derrick Henry, handing it off to DeMarco Murray. But now you're going to get this up-tempo offense. Uh, the, the, you know, you look here at what the Titans have and you get Deion Lewis. That's a fast running back. You get a crew, a crew Mwadley from Iowa that, um, that, uh, my friend Jet Central really likes. So basically, when you look at what the Tennessee Titans have, and then you look at Delaney Walker, you even have Ethan Wolf back there that can play a little tight end. Um, this team is really, really talented, though. I mean, look at this offensive line that's now been here for a couple of years. Ben Jones, um, Jack Conklin from Michigan State, uh, who I absolutely love. Taylor Lewan, one of the best left tackles in the NFL. You then have Quentin Spain and Josh Klein. All this offensive line has so much continuity. They've been there a really long time, and they've been pretty successful. You then have a guy in Taiwan Taylor who played maybe at Pittsburgh State or a really small school. He lit it up in training camp. He's a very, very talented player. So you get him. You then get uh, Deontay Burnett from USC, who I'm not sure why you know people didn't uh, enjoy this kid's talent. I think the kid could be a sleeper. But then coming back and who's going to be fully healthy, you now have Corey Davis and Rashard Matthews. But I believe Corey Davis is going to be your breakout player for the Tennessee Titans. I think Corey Davis can be a top 10 wide receiver in this NFL. He's going to be a guy in fantasy that I'm going to snag in like the 10th or 11th round. And he's going to be an absolutely, he's absolutely capable of being a wide receiver one. Like you drafted him number five overall out of Western Michigan. He has a body like Terrell Owens. And just because he battled injury, like people forget about the talents of Corey Davis. And the thing about this kid, Corey Davis, is he's just a really smart kid, an incredible work ethic, and he's the leading wide receiver in college football history in terms of yardage. So Corey Davis, I mean, he took that program, Western Michigan, and he took them to an undefeated season when, I believe three years ago under Coach Fleck, they were 0-13. So the guy's an absolute beast. Then you look at the defensive side of the ball. They add Rashawn Evans. They get Harold Landry in the second round. Really, really good picks from Tennessee. And you, you're now having Mike Vrabel. They get Dean Pease as a defensive coordinator, but... The problem is with Matt LaFleur is if the Titans have an incredible year, LaFleur is likely going to want to leave. So you look at the defensive line, Jarrell Casey's a top 100 player there on the defensive line. You're playing a 3-4 defense now with Mike Vrabel. Um, I like the linebacking core. I like Woodyard. Derek Morgan's played a long time. Brian Arakbo's played a damn long time. You have Harold Landry, Rashawn Evans there. 
Uh, and, and then Kevin Dodd out of Clemson, like, let's see this guy, like, finally contribute there as a defensive lineman. I mean, this guy is absolutely huge. And I want Kevin Dodd. I think he'd even, I'm surprised he's not even playing on the, you know, on the interior of the defensive line. Then you have Malcolm Butler, um, you know, and you have Malcolm Butler, a Dory that a Dory's good in special teams. He can get even better at playing corner. I'm not the biggest Dory fan in terms of him as a cornerback, but maybe he can prove us wrong. Kevin Byard's a guy that I loved in the preseason. Um, I knew that he would have a special, special season last year because I saw him play the Jets in the preseason, and this guy just is so damn aggressive. And uh, then they have Cyprian there. They have Logan. Oh, uh, they have Logan Ryan, Adoree Jackson, and Malcolm Butler. I mean, that's it. That that's a very, very good secondary. These are big name guys that have come from the Patriots that you're now going to be putting into your system. So. When you look at the Tennessee Titans, I mean, this is a this is an incredibly talented roster, and Marcus Mariota is going to have an incredible season with Matt Lafleur there as the uh, quarterbacks coach for the Tennessee Titans. So I cannot wait to see what the Titans offer. They're going to be a team that I think can compete for the Super Bowl. I think they're going to be the NFC, the AFC South champions. And let's go forth and give them a schedule prediction. I don't believe Jacksonville will be back in the AFC South. I believe Blake Bortles. Usually when you have a really good defense, it's hard for you to get back when your quarterback play is that terrible. And now Jacksonville is going to be playing such a, such a tough schedule. So, uh, Let's see the regular season. So the regular season schedule that we have for us, for the Tennessee Titans, is we have here 16 games of football for us to break down. Uh, okay, 10 and 6. Okay, so the first game we got Miami. That's going to be a game, 1 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, for some reason, uh, the home games are in light blue. So we get the Dolphins on the road. All right, the Dolphins are on the road. That's a dead win. you got to win that game in Miami, get the season started off right. I believe it's a win. It's a win you got to have almost versus Ryan Tannehill and versus a team in the Dolphins that I think is going to be one of the worst teams in the NFL. Then you come home, huge divisional game versus the Houston Texans and Deshaun Watson. It's great that the game is at home. I believe you win that game at home. You then go to Jacksonville on the road. Jacksonville fans and UCF Jaguar, they're going to be there. And they think that Tennessee Titans, they think that they're going to go out and just crush the Tennessee Titans. It isn't going to happen. The Titans last year went to Jacksonville and absolutely mauled the Tennessee Titans, or absolutely mauled the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're going to get after Blake Bortles, Harold Landry, the guys that they've acquired off the edge. Where they're going to have to get a little bit of a pass rush there when you look at the Tennessee Titans because, you know, Daquan Jones, you're going to have to have some of these guys get in and really establish a pass rush. But I believe the Titans beat Jacksonville, go to 3-0. and Play the Eagles then. You know, will Carson Wentz be healthy? Titans are going to be 3-0. and Noon game, tough game for the Eagles coming across, going to Nashville. Titans win that one. They go then on the road to Buffalo. Buffalo's going to be having trouble with quarterbacks. Marcus Mariota's going to win that game. The Titans are going to go to 5-0. and The Baltimore Ravens on the at-home dead win. They're going to crush it. 4 o'clock game. They're going to win that game, and they're going to get to 6-0. and And then I have them beating the Chargers, so I have them at 7-0. and On the road at Dallas, 8-0. and They win that game. Uh, noon Eastern time, at home versus the New England Patriots. And the Titans at this point are 8-0. and I'll have them losing to the Patriots 8-1. and Then they go on the road. They play the Colts. That's a dead win, 9-1. and then they play the Tennessee tight then they play the Houston Texans on Monday night football um, and I have them at nine and one I am going to I'll give them a loss here nine and two even now yeah then I'll take the Jets and Jags as, as, as games that I'll give them 
So uh, nine and two, we go eleven and two. Uh, Giants. So 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 now we have three more games left. Giants eleven and three. Washington. I believe that that is a home game, a home football game, and they are eleven and three at this time. Yeah, eleven and three. Twelve. 12 and 3, 13 and 3 for the Tennessee Titans. 13 and 3, one of the top seeds in the AFC, going to be playing against the Chiefs or the Patriots to win the uh, to win it to go to the Super Bowl. So I have the Titans at 13 and 3. I think that that's going to be crazy. I'm going to make a boatload of money off of that pick if that happens. I really hope I'm correct. I hope Mike Vrabel gets coach of the year then. I should probably put in those odds. The schedule's so damn cake. The offense, Marcus Mariota, is going to be tremendous. Corey Davis is just going to be a beast. Delaney Walker, Derrick Henry is going to be fine on the ground with Deion Lewis there to supplement. And this is Marcus's year to take off. Tennessee Titans make the leap, and they end up winning the South, getting a bye, and they're going to be rolling into the playoffs at a high, high level. So let me know what you think. You might think I'm out of my mind crazy. I have the Titans getting 13 wins this year. Take care, guys. Have a great night. Enjoy it. Take care. Enjoy yourselves. Bye-bye. Rover Sports is out. See y'all.